Shaw Family Farm. I'm Christy. Um, this is a fiber arts tag and it was put out, oh, I can't remember the young lady's name. But anyway, um, Kathy over at Mama Cat's home did it and she, it's funny because her and I kind of interact and she at the end said she didn't know anybody that did fiber arts. So I'm answering her tag so that at least one person can say, Kind of, sort of, I was tagged by Mama Cat, or I'm doing it in reply to her. So, um, anyway, it's just like 20 some questions, real quick, about um, my fiber arts journey. So, first off, it says, Number one, who are you? I'm Christy Straw of the Straw Family Farm. Number two, when and why did you start knitting, crocheting, spinning, and weaving? Um, my grandparents have always, my great grandmother, um, Grandma Durham, she always knitted and crocheted, um, more so knitted. Uh, my grandmother up in New York did both, and I was taught by different grandparents. My mother had a spinning wheel. My grandmother had a spinning wheel. My other grandmother on the other side had a loom. It's just part of life. Um, it was part of our family. So I've grown up around it all the time. I learned when I was little. I've uh, been drop spindling for a long time. Uh, just always just always always has done that's been a part of my life what is your favorite or proudest make mm, gosh there's probably makes that I was super proud of when I made them that I don't even remember because I and that's one of the next questions um, is what all do you do uh, and I spin knit crochet weave I do all of it so um, yeah, there's, there's really too many for me to do. Uh, my favorite fiber is camel, if that counts. And I have this really long um, sweater or over jacket. It, it, I don't know. It's just kind of a, it's a three quarters length um, sweater that goes over like my shirt and jeans. I love it. I, I like that one. Um, I've done some others that are just really cool. Uh, anyway, okay. What was your most disastrous make? Um, any that I turned into cat or dog beds. If they went south, then they became cat and dog beds. So if there's a cat or dog bed around my house that you see, it probably started out to be something else. Uh, do you have a favorite place to buy yarn or fiber, a local or online? Outside the back door, we share our own sheep. We have our own stuff. So pretty much my backyard. <laughs> I love taking the wool that we have and the wool that we grow. Um, we do both wool and mohair. And uh, I love taking those things and turning them into a finished product. Those are my favorite. I very rarely buy yarn. Um, it's just one of those things. Uh, what is your most used or loved pattern? Okay, so I was taught how to read patterns. I'm not very good at it. So most of the stuff I do is from a recipe. Um, and that's my word for it. I don't know what you call it really in life. Um, it's pretty much just a concept. Um, I know I need this amount of length. Um, I design all the sweaters that I do myself. And I just draw them out and then I say, okay, I need this this wide by this length. And I just do it. I, I don't know how to really, I know how to read patterns but I never can get them right and I'm not very good at it. So, it is what it is. Um, okay, let's see here. What is your most dreaded knitting, spinning, crochet task? Mm, gosh. Um, tumbling, I think. Because I, I prep my own fiber. The tumbling is the one thing that I dread and RJ motorized it this year for me. So it might not be a task that I dread. <laughs> what is your favorite task? I'm on number eight. Um, all of it. Um, if I didn't enjoy it, I wouldn't do it. So um, I can say that I'm probably the best at spinning. So, and I seem to be able to go faster at it. So I'd say that's a good one. <laughs> What is your favorite crafting entertainment? I'm not sure what that means. Um, there are fiber festivals that we go to um, where we vend. So if that's considered, you know, crafting entertainment, I don't do a whole lot on like YouTube or 
any of that. I, I don't watch. Um, we put out some, uh, but I, I'm not real sure what that means because I love doing all kinds of stuff. Um, for patterns, do you prefer books, magazines, Ravelry, or would you rather make up your own? I do it all by measurements, and I pretty much do it my own. So, Number 11, what is your favorite brand of knitting needles or crochet hooks? And for spinning, what is your favorite spinning wheel or spindle? Oh my gosh, that's a loaded question. Okay, I will say this. Knitting needles and crochet hooks, I love bamboo. Um, I, I like the feel of them. The metal is too uh, slick, like stainless steel in that. I, I do have a set of metal ones that I exclusively use for thread crochet. So I can't say that because they don't make bamboo ones that tiny. So I prefer, like, I have knitting needles that are bamboo. I've got crochet hooks that are bamboo. And those are the ones that I tend to be my go-to, but I don't have just exclusively those. Um, the spinning wheels, okay, I've got three of those, two of them are Ashford's and one is a big walking wheel. And my favorite, all of them. And, and see, I've got drop spindles too. I have a favorite drop spindle. I just like the way it's balanced and that. Um, so yeah, too many. <laughs> Too many. I, I can't say a favorite. I love them. Uh, what is your favorite notion or tool? Okay, so everybody's version of a notion or tool is different. My favorite thing is my loom. Um, but notions refers to like stitch markers or measuring thing. I have this little measuring tape and it's in, it has like a little wool um, sheep on it. So that's cute. And that's considered a notion. And I use that all the time. Um, too many. <laughs> that, that's kind of coming down to, to be my um, go-to line, huh? Too many. Uh, all right, number 13. What is your current favorite project? Oh, I'm building a peg loom. So whatever's going to come off that loom is my current. Oh no, but I'm doing the hook latch rug too. So, oh, but that's not spinning, knitting, or crocheting. So that doesn't count, right? I can have two. So um, the peg loom is I'm building one and I'm going to do some weaving on it. And the rug that I'm making off of it comes from coarse spun south down wool that we did. So, um, his name is Chief. Anyway, long story, the last wool of him. And that's going to be my new favorite project. Um, all right. Number 14, favorite place to knit, crochet, spin in public. Ooh. Um, anywhere there's kids. Um, the spinning, anytime I take my spinning wheel out, men swarm to it to see how it works. Women just like to see it because it's different, but children are the most inquisitive. So my favorite place to spin is sitting out amongst my flock with kids that visit the, the farm. Um, so that's my favorite place to spin. Now knitting, crochet, I always have those with me. I, I can't say that there's a favorite place. If I have downtime, I'm crocheting something. <laughs> so, all right, what is your favorite fiber arts book? I don't have one really. I have a, a go-to weaving book. I have a go-to fiber book. I have um, go-to books, but I don't have a favorite. Um, there's a fiber and fleece book that I really like, but I mean, I just do it for spinning reasons so I can read the properties and that kind of stuff. So I, I really don't have a favorite book about just that. Um, I've also got an old heritage hobbies book that I love. So, but that's not really all fiber arts. It's got like glass blowing and basket weaving and it's kind of got like lost crafts in it. So, um, number 16, do you have any other hobbies? <laughs> um, pretty much if it is related to fiber arts done it in one form or another. I love it. Felting, 
I have a lot of fun at that. Um, I don't know if it means other fiber arts hobby. We have a whole farm, so anytime, any downtime that I have, I just like to do my fiber hobby. So, but I mean, I have other things that I like, but not. I cook a little, whatever. But fiber arts is pretty much my hobby. If you would meet anyone in the fiber arts community, who would it be? Mm. Really, there's no one way to um, narrow it down. There's so many. In this business, there are some weavers that I would really love to meet. Um, there are some knitters and crocheters I'd really love to meet, but narrowing it down between the two. Uh, so, really, there's not one single person. I learned most of my stuff from my grandmother. I'd love to have a chance to go back and visit with my grandmas again about this stuff. You know, probably stuff I should have written down that I've forgotten that they taught me. So, um, yeah. All right, rapid fire. And it just lists these, and it says, number 18, knit or crochet. I do both, but I prefer crochet. Number 19, weave or spin. I do both, and I love both. 20, color or naturals. Depends on the fiber, but I do both. Um, sweater or socks. I wear both. I knit. <sighs> I crochet more sweaters than I do knit, but I knit more socks than I do crochet socks. Does that make sense? And I also do Tunisian crochet, so yeah. Anyway, those I do pretty much, those are all of both. So, all right. Anyway, I'm going to put all 20 some questions down in the description box, and I'm going to see who I can tag. Um, Sullivan Family Homestead or Anna, and I can't remember Anna's channel. I think I'm going to go with Anna because she does a lot of stuff. And I just started watching her. So we'll get her involved in this and I will tag her in the description box below and you can go check her out. So yeah, go check them out. And I will put Kat's link in the um, description box as well. So you can go check her out and see her get into trouble because she says she's not qualified to do this tag. So anyway, I will catch you next time. Bye.